I'm Mike Bindrup with the Small Business Education Program. Here's some information you need in your business. We have three basic financial reports. We have the income statement, the balance sheet, and the statement of cash flows. All of these financial reports have different purposes. Let's talk about the balance sheet. Business owners hate looking at the balance sheet. Most of the time, small business owners don't even know what the balance sheet's all about. Well, let's solve that mystery for you today. Here's what you need to know. The balance sheet, along with the income statement, shows you a better overall picture of your financial health in your company. The balance sheet has to stay in balance, and here's the equation. Assets equals liability plus the owner's equity. So what's an asset? An asset is simply something that's worth value to your business. Assets can be cash. They can also be accounts receivable or money that people owe you in your business. They can be things that are intangible, such as patents. They can be intellectual property, things of value that the company owns that you could sell. That's what an asset is. So what's a liability? Liabilities are legal claims on the assets of the business. So let's talk about owner's equity. What's owner's equity? That simply means what is the net worth of the company to the owner? How much is the owner's net worth in that company? So if you think of it like this, if you take your assets and you sell assets and you pay off your liabilities, what you have left is your owner's equity. So assets equal the liabilities plus the owner's equity. If we do a little algebraic switching, assets minus liabilities equals your owner's equity. So your net worth of your business is basically what assets you have minus what you owe. Does that make better sense? Many people get confused by the balance sheet. The balance sheet shows assets, liabilities, and your equity position as the owner. Without this information, the income statement is incomplete. You know how much you make from a profit and loss perspective in your business during a month's period or a year's period. However, without the balance sheet, you don't know how much debt you had to incur, how much cost you had to carry in order to make that money. For example, if you made $50,000 profit this month in your business, that sounds like a great deal, right? Right, except on your balance sheet, you may have loans that are due that you have to pay. Think of a mining operation. You have to set up a mine, which means you have to invest in lots of equipment, you have to buy lots of property, you have to invest in all this money before you bring one single valuable thing out of the ground, right? It takes millions of dollars of investment. That's what's carried on your balance sheet. Now, the second that starts producing, that's great. You have to be able to reconcile that with the balance sheet to make a full financial picture. Put it this way, if you're going to buy a business and the business owner does not want to show you the balance sheet of the company, you should run because you're not getting the full financial picture of that company. So these three financial statements, the balance sheet, the income statement, and the statements of cash flows can help you run your business more effectively and give you a better overall picture of the financial health of your company. Thank you for watching. Check out our other videos and go to our website below. I'm Mike Bindrup with the Small Business Education Program.